Hi friends, welcome to Sailing Liberty. We're really glad you're back. You see, Helen's enjoying one of her special Christmas presents. Yeah, those are real red gorilla wash tubs. The big boys, the seven gallon, not the five gallon. She could get twice the laundry done in half the time. Man, that's a lot quicker. Today I'm getting in the bottom of the barrel with our provisioning. I'm gonna check if everything is all right. <laughs> yeah, you could get mold, rot, rats and insects in there. <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep an eye on things. I will check everything. <laughs> okay, well, we're also gonna get on these uh, chain plates. We gotta check that and make a decision about what we're gonna do there because when we get out there, we gotta make sure we're gonna keep it up. Today, the mess. on Sailing yeah. Liberty. Day. <laughs> As I was going over the Cork and Kerry mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money. He was counting. I first produce my pistol and then produce my rapier. Stand and deliver, for you are a bold deceiver. I said, Ooh, I'm a do, I'm a da. Wait for the daddy o. Wait for the daddy o. There's whiskey in the jar. As some of you know, I have a storage of uh, cranes underneath my bed. We haven't been eating a lot of cranes at the moment because we are trying to eat more fresh food. Ugh. And the moment of truth. No, we was. I'm really happy. My brain is tingling. <laughs> All our grain is in great condition. In here we have oats. When we're gonna be on the sea, we have some crane next to our fish and we can bake bread and whatnot. I'm taking those little oxygen bags that Ted got for me and put two in one. And also I get a couple of the moisture capturer absorbing and they are perfect condition. We packed them on very dry day the first time we did that. I'm super happy we still have got our food. So make sure everything is sealed properly. We put them in the big garbage bags. Perfect! Ugh. Some water for the life raft. I guess uh, you have to think of the worst case scenario. If it ever happens, you're ready for it. In another case, you're not ready for it. A little insurance goes a long way. When we go to these stores and we're ready to eat them, you know, we want to have as few bugs as possible. I mean, a few little bugs. I guess it's going to be okay. That's the way of the sea, you know? It's the lesser of two weevils. <laughs> Let's pack these up and Ziploc them. Did you say lesser of two weevils? <laughs> yeah, it's a, one of the tough choices you have to make out at sea. <laughs> Man, if you don't trust me, Ask your master and commander. Everything fits. How long has it been since you checked your stores? Uh, when we did get them, like last summer. We have to get fish and seaweed to go with it, right? Yeah. Military grade uh, lunch packages. When the worst happens, we're gonna throw them on our life raft and just go. When we are on the way, we have to find them a better spot that we're gonna be 15 minute prep time when we have to say goodbye to our boat. Ain't gonna happen. I hope not. We're but... gonna eat those just for variety. I hear they're delicious. Can't wait to try them. So I'm gonna just pack them in here. Yeah, just put them in there. They're for a special party night. Special party bag? Yeah. These ones? This is a survival food. What could be better? Survival. It's all about survival. <laughs> Off grid survival, baby. Making it on our own if need be. They're gonna be like the real preppers. So when the worst happens, we are ready. Off-grid and mobile. Basic element, there's about three or four of them, uh, off-grid survival. 
having stock, having stores, having provisions on board that are gonna last and keep you going. Thick and thin kind of stuff. And fats, oils, that's one of the toughest ones. So you gotta get those and have them in stock. The good news is they don't take up a lot of space. You can carry a lot and it's really not gonna kill you for space. So we're gonna order a bunch, a couple, two or three gallons here of olive oil. That's the thing we use the most of and we're kind of running low. We're loaded with coconut oil right now. That's great. That's one of the best because you can just eat it straight. It's amazing. It's also good for oil pulling on your teeth, which keeps your teeth looking great and healthy. Um, everything else, we're pretty much loaded up on. <laughs> Get ready for the voyage. I'm gonna order this oil right this second. Oh yeah, plenty of oil. And there's plenty of it. <laughs> That'll keep us going. You need fat for your brain. It keeps you thinking, keeps you smart, it keeps you healthy. The rainstorm is past. We had on the weekend and now we're gonna take the cover off. Ants are gone. And now, let's see what we can see. I'm gonna spray the chain blade with a little uh, soap and uh, brush it to see a little better. And when you brush it away, it's all glossy. You know, we're looking for those deep crevice cracks, right? You know, you can't beat the weather. It is a pretty grungy job and it's pretty hard to get excited about it but this is what we get in exchange, a beautiful life. Looking all right, looking all right. I think we are still good for another season. Wow, that was quick. We just ordered this cooking, fats, oils, all that. I think it was on Friday and here yeah. is Tuesday, we already have it. I ordered bulk because it's cheaper, 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil. This is organic, but I, I have a feeling that the Italian one tastes better. And pasta. Hey, hey no one could go wrong with that. <laughs> As we continue our exploration of the chain plate conundrum, we decided we're gonna look at the three shrouds here on the port side of the boat. Um, the real problem is you don't want to take off the entire cap rail. So I'm going to do some splice cuts that are kind of copied from the original splice cuts of the boat. I'm going to use this uh, contour gauge to kind of help me rough it in and then I'm going to probably really freehand a bit of it. But I want to make sure I'm holding true to the uh, design from the original shipbuilders. And I'm going to cut this with the oscillating tool. In fact, I'm going to cut it right now. Do you think this is a good strategy, Alan? I think it's uh, the best tragedy that we have got. This is the worst board on the boat as far as the uh, cap rail goes. And uh, we just figured we'll start at the worst part and move from there. What? We have a screw coming out. Oh, don't mind if I do. Wow. Didn't expect that one little bit. Wait a second. Is this? Wow. wow. We might even be able to reuse that sucker. <laughs> nice job, Helen. <laughs> just take one shroud off at a time without any concern. I just got this loose. There's no pressure, so it's not really doing anything. And now, hey, look. Oh. So I'm just gonna break it. So there it comes. Just like this. Ooh. Whoa. How the chain blade looks. Yeah. The chain blade looks pretty good. Oh, it comes out. It's like a sponge there. Old piece of filler Whoa. plywood. Look at that. It's like the Dead Sea Scrolls. <laughs> Dead Sea Scrolls! Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that, you know? But at least we uh, have a template. Let's make a copy of this and stick it right in there. The good news is that we didn't bury our head under the sand and stop, ooh, stop the leaks. Whoa, that's like dirt there. It was clearly the worst spot. But you know what? This is a solid fiberglass pocket in here. And uh, 
I'm not worried. I think it's fine. All right, impact driver saves the day again. Got to have an impact driver on a boat. Usually it's for uh, the mast and places where you have stainless against the aluminum, but here we are using it on the gunnels. Get this cap rail off. If we're not gonna replace our chain plates at this time, we need to know that they're reasonable and that they're, we don't have one that's just obviously trashed. And this place where you have the sandwich of all these layers meeting right here at the top, this is where they break. This is also where they get the most fatigue from the load they bear. So having this cap rail to remove is a really great, lucky good thing about this boat. All right, this is the time where we have to take our shrouds off, and this is the time we have to take two off. Um, so we're gonna hopefully stabilize the mast with a couple of halyards, fore and aft, through the hoss pipe and through the scupper. And I think we'll be okay, Let's see what happens. There's a bump right there because we had a point load because the pin is too small of a size. It was just riding right on there and it point loaded the top of that hole. So now we have new ones that are gonna be the correct size we have to swap out for. Um, so it's, I can't actually get this plate off because of it. Uh -oh. I'm gonna have to file that, I guess. That's, that's, that's unexpected. I didn't realize it was gonna be that serious. Your pins need to match your holes, and that's a fact. And now we know why. I've seen it in person, a little bump. Woo! So, nice job. Interesting little problem, huh? It's coming off. Woo! Gotta put the lower back first, that gives us two lowers. The lowers are enough to keep the mast up, no problem. There was no danger there, but still, you don't wanna fool around with two shrouds off at once. Uh, no wind, we had three halyards in place to take the load. Of course, they go to the top of the mast, see if there's any cracks associated with that point load. I sure hope there aren't. Everything has something, huh? Yeah. They're not perfect. They're old. Take a look at this, sweetie. You have your super sharp kitten eyes in there. That right there. You think there's a crack? I can't see any crack. You think there's something? Uh, you can't really tell. Can't really tell. See that it's in a line? Yeah, I, I can you, see you have, the line. You, you have the super sharp peepers. I can uh, I can feel the line, but maybe it's just peeping. Whoops. Maybe it's just like a little scratch there. I think it might be scratch in the middle of the peeping. Yeah. Hey, maybe they're still good for another season. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. My little friend, say hello. He's gonna keep the other birds away from the boat and their poop too, God willing. Let's see if this is gonna work. All right, so here's the game plan. You hang out here, well, pretty much 24 hours a day. And when those birds come by, you give them that look. That look that only you can give them. And hopefully they'll know what's best for their health and move on to the next boat. We gotta let them know that we're not screwing around. All right, let's see how it works. We'll keep you updated. Oh yeah. We've decided that we're gonna go around and inspect the places that we're most concerned about. That is the stuff for the main mast. Okay, so I figure we put a couple of aft mast halyards through the uh, hoss pipes astern. We can release our split backstay. We're gonna have plenty of strength. There's no wind. Tearing the boat apart again. My little friend, Jim Croce. There's no room. <gasps> Tough as nails, those solar panels are. I think it's fine. Sometimes they survive hurricanes. Sometimes they throw bars. 
Crowbars always survive hurricanes. Nice. Wow. And what's underneath? Pretty solid. Solid, solid yeah, resin Yeah, everything there. is solid. Nice. Great. Right. Good news, good news. Very good news. <laughs> I'd like to say maybe it's good for another season. <laughs> oh, he's done. Looks great. Looks great. Oh, that's awesome news. Wow, I'm loving that, Helen. Probably good for another season. <laughs> 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 well that's half the boat port side all the cap rails are off and we haven't seen anything crazy yet and that's really good news that's what we were hoping to find nothing crazy and we found nothing crazy so this is the rough side of the boat too the other side the uh, cap rail is much more sound everything seems more intact and solid and you know what we're looking like good news hey perhaps we're good for another season you know 44 seasons, 43 seasons, yeah, as a percentage, it's barely any different. Go ahead and get these dealt with, get them put back together, stop the water leaks. When we decide to go ahead with new uh, rigging and chain plates at some point, we'll do a lot of work on that day. Maybe we'll even take the mast down for it. Just figure it's a work in progress. Our friends Bo and Darcy are gonna be back in town tomorrow and today is our last day with our borrow car. We're gonna run around and do a couple of last minute errands and then we're gonna go see our super subscriber, Robert George. He's got a bunch of old boat stuff in his garage that he doesn't need anymore and he wants to give it to us. Look at that, sweetie, it's a beauty. No, there's the beauty, what are you talking about? Something wrong with That's you, That's our boy. camera girl. That camera girl. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new Yop Raid, oh my God. That is a rope to be proud of. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> he gets excited about the strangest thing. No, it's thing. Just super <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my God, it's beautiful. And, and then, look at the I colors. Need some other rope. There's some smaller ropes there. If Those are sweet. Sure. Throw yeah. them on a the stack. What? Oh my God! We were just talking about getting a vice. You have to have a vice on a boat. Yeah. Wow, Dave, you always wanted a vice. Yeah, and that's perfect because it's little, but it's tough. Yeah, and it's, it's old tough. school, made in USA. Wow, yeah. look at that. So when we get this mastiff. Oh, it's Kitty. So this is actually a firefighter one. Huh. Kitty is a big brand with the firefighting guys. Well, you tell me too much about it, I won't let you know. Yeah, you, <laughs> you could probably get a lot of money for this. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get it. Hey, how's it going? Looks like Christmas is coming early this year. And the piece to the resistance. We start they're gonna catch a tuna fish. We already have the rice. Thank you to Robert George for all the boat stuff. You're welcome. <laughs> we came to feed uh, Robert's horses. Maybe they come over. Hey, Gypsy! Hi, Gypsy. Hi. Yeah, she's very, very sweet, but she's not going to hurt you. She's so old and Hi. wise. Hi, Chipsy. Oh Are you gosh. the prettiest, huh? <laughs> Your pretty horse. You're so cute. You're a little donkey, aren't you? You like carrots? So cute, a donkey. She's wonderful. Hello. Does she know how to kick a coyote? That's why she's out here. I would assume she does. Good. Hello. Oh, more carrot? Do you think maybe your little donkey friend is food motivated? Is Hello. it possible? Or is it just because of your personality? It might be both. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little okay. anxious. <laughs> wow, that was fun. <laughs> Gypsy. Wow, so pretty. Hi, Chipsy. Hi. You're a good girl. Mm -hmm. Don't kiss my favorite though. You're my favorite, don't worry. I'm going to check out a couple of ethnic stores. Hello. Like sprats. I'll take sprats. I'm gonna do it on the black bread, this super nice, uh, tasty Christmas treat, what we do every year on Christmas. Some good news. That's Lithuanian. It's pretty good. What's that? Sunflower seed bread. Okay. 
first thing as Estonian when you went uh, when you go away and you're missing your country, you're missing black bread. Happy New Year, my friends. This is the first time of the many. What's on the menu tonight, by the way? Well, I wanted to cook something Estonian. I am doing a beef pork roast. The cabbage has been already in an oven. It has a caramelization. Yeah, looks good, huh? Pork roast is searing. I'm gonna sear it to give it a little elevated taste. Little seasoning. Salt, pepper. Wow, wow. Beautiful. It's gonna be delicious. The bones should be facing up. Oh my golly, I'm getting hungry. Now the most important part. I'm gonna deglaze the pan with the beer. gets all the flavor off the bun. Wow, it smells good. Now the pork roast goes to the oven for one hour. I'm gonna use the same pan I did the pork roast for making the potatoes, just for the flavor. We gotta get the uh, blood sausage in the mix because this is American, Estonian, New Year's dinner dinner. Ooh, that's hot. You know, you gotta help the ladies because they always burn themselves. Blood sausage. I'm gonna put it on one side. I'm gonna do the Sprouts Black Bread Sandwiches, which are great appetizer in Estonia. My little trick is that I toast the black bread. This is Baltic Sprouts. My trick is that. Voila! A little dab of butter. Cut the slice of egg. Fish on the top. Green onion. And dill. Dab of salt. A little tiny bit of sour cream. Got the jar of marinated mushrooms. I'm gonna open it up. You know, these marinated mushrooms are uh, not for the faint of heart. And, uh, okay. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Oh my God. All right, I can't get it either. Mom used to do this before she asked Dad to help. He dent the edge of the jar. Hopefully that breaks the seal. <laughs> Obviously, we didn't dent it enough. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't get it. You know what? Maybe we should have these next year. <laughs> Try to dent it in the uh, opposite side. Let me oh. Oh. I'll it everywhere. The heck with that jar. It's making me look like a fool. Got yeah. it on the first try. <laughs> Nothing to it, honey. No problem. Honey, you probably could have got it yourself. You would have tried a little harder. Wow. Tastes like grandma's house. Food is ready. Let's eat. Happy New Year, baby. You do taste that. Yeah. Happy New Year to you as well. <laughs> It has been a wicked year, Helen was just saying. We have done some pretty amazing projects. And when you buy a $10,000 boat... There's a lot of projects. <laughs> hey, you can't expect everything to be perfect. I gotta tell you, it feels kind of great. I feel really good about how much we've done already. And you guys know that it's been pretty nuts. I mean, you're right there along with us. And honestly, it's a lot of work to do by yourself. So with you guys along for the ride and joining in, is making a big difference. Helen's reading comments in the morning when she's having her coffee. And you know what I mean? It's like, we're not just alone out here in the jungle by ourselves in some old $10,000 boat we got for almost nothing. So. 
Yes, and uh, some of the recommendations are pretty great. Genius! Arguably, some we're having a lot genius. of genius ideas lately. <laughs> and, uh, and we are using them and it helps us a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah. And New Year's is a time to recognize where we've been and what we've done and to try to look forward to everything coming up. So I was just going to say to you guys. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank you so much. It's amazing. And you know how it is these days. Without you guys, it would be a lot harder. Cheers. I gotta have one of these sprats real quick before we talk. Mmm. Wow. So good. Creamy and wow. nice. And a little bit spice. Mm. Woohoo! Mmm. Smells good. And peace for you, sweetie? Yeah. Is it good? Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Oh my god, it smells so delicious. Wow, that is insane. Bon appetit, it's ready to eat. Wow, it looks so delicious and I bet it is. So tender. Heave ho, let's get her done. Happy New Year. And here's to the future. It's gonna be great. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you like, comment, and please subscribe. We're a new channel. Every subscription counts. Thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you on the next show. Sailing Liberty. Arr, boy, arr. Charge, you scallywags. Aye, aye Captain. Like any great adventure, it begins with a girl and a sword. Before you know it, the tail twist into a t-shirt. Hey, click in the link below in the description box and get one of our shirts. Bye now, and join the adventure.